नमस्कार आप सभी का एक बार पुनः स्वागत है मैं हूं राहुल और आप देख रहे हैं ई विद्या चैनल्स और एन का ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल चैनल नंबर छः पर हाजिर है हम मैथमेटिक्स का लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन लेकर जिसमें आज हम बात करने वाले हैं डेटा हैंडलिंग की और इसका ये पार्ट वन है यानी कि आज ये एक नया चैप्टर हम इसमें शुरू करने जा रहे हैं सो बिफोर वी बिगिन दिस मैथमेटिक्स लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन आई हैव एन अनाउंसमेंट सो इन येट अनदर एक्साइटिंग एडिशन ऑफ परीक्षा पे चर्चा ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी विल इंटरेक्ट विद द स्टूडेंट्स टीचर्स एंड पेरेंट्स ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवंथ ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी Let's listen to the experiences of our Prime Minister and know how to make exams a joyful celebration by keeping examination stress at stress free. So make sure you do not forget to uh, watch this program live on all major TV channels, uh, including Doordarshan, Community Radio, and All India Radio. So keep the date, 27th of January, 2023, for Pariksha Pe Charcha. So let's begin this uh, mathematics. Uh, Uh, in uh, interactive uh, session with our expert, she is in the studio, Shrimati Swarnalata Sharma ji. Uh, namaskar, आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है. Namaste Rahul ji. आप T G T Mathematics हैं, राष्ट्रीय पुरस्कार से सम्मानित शिक्षिका हैं. राजेंद्र प्रसाद केंद्रीय विद्यालय प्रेसिडेंट्स एस्टेट में आप अपनी सेवाएं दे रही हैं. Shrimati Sharma, आपका एक बार पुनः स्वागत. Thank you. And what about data handling? We, as we are, uh, I think we are, you know, starting this new chapter, right? Yes, yes. So what is it? Yes, Rahul ji, we are going to begin this chapter today. Mm -hmm. And dear children, we will learn from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by data? And how do you handle the data? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's begin. And uh, let us look into the definition first. See, in our day-to-day -day life, mm -hmm. we see various kinds of tables which consists of numbers. figures names etc these tables provide data a data is a collection of numbers gathered to give some information sometimes some information is required very quickly it is possible only when we adopt some suitable system of collecting data if we want to get a certain particular information from the given data very quickly the data can be arranged in a tabular form using tally marks what is a data data is a collection of facts figures or numbers gathered to give some information as i told you and there are two types of data children first is primary data what is that when the information are collected by the investigator himself or herself the data obtained is known as primary data and we have a secondary data also when the information are gathered from a source which already had the information stored the data obtained is known as secondary data okay, okay. now uh, let us take an example of a class which is preparing to go for a picnic okay hmm. here uh, the teacher asks the students to give their choice of fruits out of banana apple orange or guava okay, okay. so now Uma is the class monitor. She is asked to prepare the list. She prepared a list here of all the children and wrote the choice of fruit against each name. This list would help the teacher to distribute fruits according to the choice. Let's see. Here, see, Raghav has opted for banana. You are right. You are right. right? It makes very interesting, and the right. notebook also becomes very colorful. Yes. You know, yes. uh, which fruit is most liked by the students? Rahul ji, can yes. you tell me by seeing the smileys? Okay. Which uh, fruit is, is most liked by the students? Banana. Yes. Maximum very students. good. See, just at the sight of right. it, you can give mm. the answer. Mm. Which fruit is least liked by the students? Mm. Three. It was yeah. It is orange. Orange. Right. So, how many students are there in the class? we can just count the we number of smileys, smileys and we can give the answer right. i think they are 20 in number 20, yes. right total 20. so it was interesting right 100%. now see here we have uh, one minute yeah in this pictograph let us see an example hmm. in a mathematics test the following marks were obtained by 40 students hmm. arrange these marks in a table using tally marks some list of marks are given uh, which were conducted in the class so one student got 8 marks another got 1 Three, seven, and so on. These are marks of forty students in a class. Okay. We are supposed to find out how many students obtain marks equal to or more than seven. 
Okay. It looks tedious, right? Mm -hmm. How to find out seven right. and more than seven, right? Mm -hmm. And same way, how many students obtain marks below four? Mm -hmm. So, how to solve this type of question uh, okay. in an easy manner? Mm -hmm. We will make a frequency table using tally okay. marks. Let us look into that. See, in the first column of the table, we write the values of marks obtained by the students starting from the lowest to the highest. Mm -hmm. Okay. One select, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, like that. Right. And in the second column, a vertical line uh, called as the tally mark is put against the number wherever it occurs. Mm -hmm. For our convenience, we shall keep the tally marks in bunches of five. The fifth mark being drawn diagonally across the first four. Mm -hmm. We continue this process for all the values of the first column. Mm -hmm. Finally, we count the number of tally marks corresponding to each observation and write the number in the third column to represent the number of students. Okay. Mm. Now, let us see how we have solved this. We have the table as under. One mark was obtained by two students. So, there are two tally marks, Rahulji. We okay. can write down number of right. students. Okay. Two marks were obtained by three students. three students. So, three tally marks are there okay. and number of students is three. Mm. Three marks were obtained by again three students. So, number of students is three. For four, you can see how many students have got uh, uh, four, four marks? marks? Seven. Seven. Bundle of five is there yes. plus two. two. It makes easy to count, no? Right. Five plus two is seven. Mm. Likewise, five marks were obtained by six students. Six marks were obtained by seven students. Mm -hmm. Seven marks by five students. Eight marks by four students. And nine marks by three students. Mm. And as you can see, if I count the total number of students, they are 40, 40. in number. Mm. Okay, this is known as frequency distribution table. We have made with the help of tally marks. Okay. Okay, this is the first way of representing our data in an organized manner. Right. Now, slowly as you go, uh, there will be better ways of representing it. Mm. But to begin with, this is the simplest way. Okay. Now, see from the above table, clearly the number of students who obtain marks equal to or more than 7 marks are 5 plus 4 plus 3 that is equal to 12. Right. Let us see how. See more than 7. Can you see Rahulji? Against 7 I have 5 and against 8 there is 4 and 9 there is 3. three. So 5 plus, plus 4, 4 plus, plus three. 3 is how much? 9, 10, 11, 12. Right. 12 students have got marks 7 or more, more than 7. Right. right. Now with the help of tally marks table it becomes easy for us to study the data. Hmm. And next question was about how many students obtain marks below 4. Hmm. See below 4 I can see in this. Uh, below 4 you can see uh, 3 plus three. 3 plus 2. How much is eight. it? 8. Yes. So 2 plus 3 plus 3 is 8. eight. Anna? Hmm. So it makes easy uh, to do it. Now next another question we have here. In a village 6 fruit merchants sold the following number of fruit baskets in a particular season. Mm -hmm. Can you see Rahim, Lakhanpal, Anwar, Martin, Ranjit Singh and Joseph. Joseph. And you know Rahulji, one fruit basket is there mm -hmm. and that is uh, representing 100 fruit baskets. Okay. So, uh, Rahim is having how many number of fruit baskets here? Uh, four. He has sold four into 100. So, mm -hmm. 400 fruit baskets he has sold. Okay. Lakhanpal, can you see here, we have 4 mm -hmm. and 5th mm -hmm. one is there and 6th is half. half. Yes. Na? So, that is uh, representing 50, 50. fruit baskets. Okay. So, like that we make the data uh, mm -hmm. with the help of pictograph. Mm -hmm. Now, we are supposed to answer these following questions by seeing the pictograph. Mm -hmm. First question is, which merchant sold the maximum number of baskets? Can you see from the table? Martin. Martin, very good. So, we need not even count. Yes. If we are able to see with the picture yes, right. and answer the question. Mm. So, helpful is the pictograph. Mm. Second is, how many fruit baskets were sold by Anwar? Anwar, how many we can see? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. seven. So, 7 into 100 gives me 700. 700. Okay. So, right. I cannot draw uh, 700 baskets. Right. I, instead, I can draw one basket and show that it is equal to 100, 100. fruit baskets. Mm. Then third one is the merchants who have sold 600 or more number of baskets are planning to buy a go down for the next season. Okay, because they are able to sell 600 or more baskets. Right. So, they are planning to purchase a go down for the next session that is next season. Can you name them? Yes, I think uh, there are three. 
फ्राइडे See, 14. yeah, fourteen because seven you can see right. multiply by two, two that is equal to fourteen. fourteen. Okay, uh -huh. now next the sale of electric bulbs again here. How many bulbs were sold on Friday? It is fourteen. Uh, fourteen. And on which day were maximum number of bulbs sold? Sunday. Sunday. You can see that it is only that is line right. is only exceeding. Yes. So answer is Sunday. Hmm. Next question is on which days same number of bulbs were sold? Hmm. I think it is on Wednesday and Saturday, yes. right? So eight there eight were eight eight bulbs. Very good. Right. And next question is on which days minimum number of bulbs were sold? Minimum. Oh, those are the same days. Yes, same Thursday, days. Saturday, Wednesday Saturday. and Saturday. Saturday. So it becomes very easy, children, hmm. to see the pictograph and give our answers. Hmm. And uh, we have here. Uh, next question. we have some i think homework questions are there okay. before that let us do some question here okay. to uh, draw tally marks and learn this okay. is very interesting question rahul ji here okay. you will help me okay, and yeah. this is choice of uh, and choice of the sweets which students like hmm. that is laddu mm -hmm. barfi and jalebi and rasgulla oh, okay so many interesting and uh, yeah swadesh Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Children love. Yes. In fact, when they do in the class, then mm -hmm. they say we will go home and tell our mummy to prepare these sweets for us. Okay. Those who prefer laddu, they ask for laddu. Those who like barfi, they request for barfi. So this question makes it very interesting. And let us make a tally mark table for this. Okay. So you will help me here. Yes. Uh, the choices of the children are given. Hmm. You please tell me. uh what is the choice accordingly i will prepare a tally mark okay yes so first is first is laddu very good ha huh? next is barfi yes and then laddu okay jalebi yes laddu okay rasgulla yes jalebi yes laddu okay barfi barfi rasgulla Okay. Laddu. Now see, I will just cross it this way. Hmm. Uh, next is jalebi. Jalebi. Next one is also jalebi. Okay. Then rasgulla. Okay. Laddu. Fine. Rasgulla. Yes. Jalebi. Yes. Laddu. Fine. Rasgulla. fine and two laddu okay barfi barfi two rasgulla okay jalebi fine rasgulla rasgulla laddu laddu rasgulla rasgulla jalebi jalebi and last is laddu fine Okay, now it becomes very easy for us to uh, find out how many students had opted for laddu. Five hmm. plus five, ten. Ten plus one is eleven. Eleven. Okay, and barfi is opted by only three students, three. and jalebi is opted by seven. five plus two, that is seven. And what about rasgulla? Five Nine. plus four. Yes, very good. Now see, let us find out. Are they thirteen number? Seven uh, plus three gives me ten, and what is eleven plus nine? Twenty. So twenty plus ten is thirty. This is the way we make a tally mark table right. for the data given. Hmm. Okay, children. Okay. I hope you have understood. Yes. Now let us prepare a pictograph also. Okay. We have total number of animals in five villages. They are shown as follows. Village A is eighty. Village B hundred animals. Village C ninety. village d 40 and village e is 60 okay. okay prepare a pictograph of these animals using one symbol to represent 10 animals 
and answer the following questions. First, let us prepare a pictograph, Rahul ji, right. right. and then we shall answer the questions. Okay. Uh, now, see, one uh, animal is representing 10 animals. Ten animals. One uh, uh, bindi, okay. your sticker is representing okay. 10 animals. Okay. Now, here, village A, we have 80. So, it how many means, I should it put? Means we should put 8. Very good. 8 uh, circles, so 8 bindis. 8, yes. Should be there. 8 bindis should be there to represent village 80. A animals of village A. Right. These three, are 3, 4, 40, yes, 50, 50, 60, 60, 70, 70, and now we are completing village A, that 80. is 80. Okay. okay. Now next is village B, how many? 100. Okay. So, for 100, I will require how many stickers? 10. 10. Good. These are 10, 20, 20, 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80, 90, 90 and this makes 100 animals, okay. 10 stickers are representing animal. Now, village C has 90. Nine. So, I have to put how many stickers? 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, <coughs> seven 8 and this makes 9. nine. What about village D? D uh, has 40. 40. Means we yes. Have four yes. Representing 2. 10 animals. Yes. Sign. Very good. 3 four. and this is 4. So, 4 stickers means 40, 40. because 1 sticker means 10, ten animals. animals. Now, village E has how many? 60. 60. So, I will require 6 stickers. Six stickers. 2, 3, mm. 4, 5 and this makes... Six. Six. So, this completes my pictograph. Right. Okay, children, I hope you have understood how to draw a pictograph. Okay. Now, how many symbols represent animals of village E? Village E, how many symbols are there? Six. <coughs> yes, very good. So, answer is Sixty. six. Which village has maximum number of animals? B. It is village B. Very easy Okay, to very find. easy to find yes. with the help of pictograph. pictograph. Okay. So, children, I hope you have understood how to draw the tally mark table and you have also understood how to make a pictograph, hmm. right? Now, you please take down uh, one, two questions for you, okay. one on tally mark and one on pictograph. Okay. Hmm. See on your screen, question one is, a dice was thrown 30 times and the following outcomes were noted. Hmm. 4, 3, 3, you know what's a dice? It gives, okay. it has 6 phases. So, hmm. you will be finding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Mm -hmm. These were the observations. Represent the above data in the form of frequency distribution. distribution. Okay, children. Okay. Next question is, the number of cricket bats sold by a shop during a week are given below. Day Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and what about Saturday, sorry, mm -hmm. and number of bats sold were 20 on Monday, 12 on Tuesday, 24 on Wednesday, mm -hmm. 32 on Thursday and 8 on Friday and 16 on Saturday. Saturday. You are supposed to draw a pictograph right. with the help of the given data. I okay. hope it is easy. Yes. You will enjoy doing it? Yes, we can yes. Uh, make the uh, pictograph easily, I think, and uh, yes. they will send us, uh, yes. uh, you know, through the uh, uh, through the email ID of class 6. Yes. So, uh, let's uh, conclude this session now, and I'm sure these activities are, you know, fun-filled for, uh, for all the students. Yes. And it is a fun learning class as well. Yes, so, yes. So, Mr. Sharma, thank you very much for this, you know, bringing thank this wonderful you. class for us with these uh, 
uh, I think engaging activities for the kids as well. Thank they you. can try Laddu today yes. because we have the maximum <laughs> students, those who like Laddu. Yes. Including yes. me. Yes, yeah. Oh, so that's actually, nice. Wish uh, you good luck. Maybe lagta hai, including. So thank you very yes. much for your time and for this okay. wonderful class. Thank Bahut you. Bahut thank you, yes. हमारा ये मैथमेटिक्स uh, का सेशन हम यही समाप्त करेंगे समाप्ति के साथ साथ एक एक उद्घोषणा भी है मेरे पास जिसे मैं आप सबके साथ साझा करना चाहूँगा और वो ये है कि इस बार परीक्षा पे चर्चा 27 जनवरी 2023 को होगी इस कार्यक्रम में प्रधानमंत्री माननीय श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी विद्यार्थियों शिक्षकों और अभिभावकों से सीधे संवाद करेंगे आइए प्रधानमंत्री जी के जीवन के अनुभव सुने और जाने की तनाव रहित रहकर परीक्षा को उत्सव कैसे बनाया जा सकता है इस कार्यक्रम का सीधा प्रसारण दूरदर्शन समेत सभी प्रमुख चैनल और ऑल इंडिया रेडियो करेंगे तो देखना ना भूलिएगा परीक्षा पे चर्चा फिलहाल हमारा ये कार्यक्रम हम यही समाप्त करते हैं वेबिनार के लिए आप जुड़े रहिए हमारे साथ हम थोड़ी ही देर में हाजिर होंगे नमस्कार